It is nearly done. A few more corrections and it should be ready. They will see. She scattered the pages hoping to hide evidence. And apparently for the reader to prove they are capable of holding the truth. Now I'm really wondering what I've gotten myself into. Who knows? This is my one lead at the moment, and I can't stay put here. I should ask, I know, and it's childish of me to think this way, but it sounds ridiculous. Who in the world would believe me? I wouldn't believe myself. If I were to ask them, if that comes to it, they don't need something to prove that I am from the future. Problem is, I don't have anything besides my pajamas and my lack of knowledge. Hmm, there's no place like home. Where would it be hiding? Think, think like the paper. If I wanted to hide somewhere, where would I hide? Be the paper, be Alice. Become the master of hiding. No, it wouldn't be. If I wanted to hide, I'd choose a spot most obvious, assuming no one would look there. Yes! No! I'm so stupid. Aha, uh -huh. there you are. Today, I am going to the forest to try, try and get the spirits, spirits to, talk. to talk with me. I do not know what form of protection I will need, so I'll bring all the charms I know of, and perhaps the crystals my grandfather gave to me. Yes, it is I for a villager like me, experiencing all these things, hearing of the stories of travelers and townsmen doing the same and not returning, and still wanting to go. But I have a goal to reach, mind you. And I want to free those villagers from their obligations, and give them a hand. But there's also something else I must know. I may be biased and defend my cause, and to you it must seem similar to the reason everyone else is going. Listen to what I have to say, though, before you make your final judgment. A long time ago, in my grandfather's parents' time, which would be my great-grandparents' time, there used to be an empire, a flourishing, elegant one at that, led by an empress, Her Grace Lady Lena. Lady Lena was a considerate empress, and she shared her ideas and foresights, but there was always something that she avoided, one topic that whenever a conversation led towards it, she would quickly change the subject. My great-grandparents were, dare I say, close with Lady Lena, as they worked directly with her as what I assume were called advisors. Now they did not tell anyone this because their job was to act as the common folk and bring her the troubles of the people, their hopes and wishes, and she would do all she could to make them come true. Now you understand when I say she was very considerate? I hope so. I am chilling away from what I wanted to say though. The main point of all this writing was that my great-grandparents wanted to know what this one topic of hers was. Why? I was not told, but I do know that the empire soon fell and the empress's last request was that no one must speak of the empire, and to let the world move on and evolve as it should. Let it find its own way, you see. Anyway, I know the spirits have the answers I need, and my great-grandparents needed, to find out what it was she was hiding. I believe my great-grandparents were similar in personality to me, and must have been where I have gotten it from, because I believe they wanted to relieve Lady Lena of her stress and worry. So that is my other objective of my adventure. I will prepare for the forest now. Think about this for a moment before you put down this paper and begin to fish for the next one. My recollection of my adventure will be there, so read carefully. Take care, stranger. Empire, Lady Lee, and Mystery Topic.
Got it. Okay. This doesn't help with the whole time travel thing, but I have a feeling that this will be useful later. But is there really nothing for time travel? I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but not even a book or picture. Okay, this doesn't say anything about the particular illness, but there are some really great potions, and the use of herbs is amazing. I thought it wouldn't work. Ugh, I'm wasting my time. But I will be writing these. Amy, I know, but you need to help out. I cannot do this all by myself, you know. Sure you can. You have done so before and you can do so now. Amy, now! Fine. Quickly though, Macy. Oh, right. I could have sworn I brought that cloth. I guess I really did forget to bring it. How careless. I guess we have to start from scratch. There are great fish out here today. I wonder how it will taste with the seasoning they gave me. Finally, it is done. There are a lot of supplies, though we should go ahead and start collecting them. down. No, that wouldn't work. Ugh. I should just stop with the entries. They're not getting me any closer to getting out of here. But they are giving me some- No! That's not what my priority is. Okay, take it one step at a time. One step at a time. The chances of me leaving just like that are close to none. There is some reason for me being here. One reason could be that there was some deep desire to escape my reality. And since that's what dramas love to do, I'm not going to count that out. Another reason could be some insane form of witchcraft, but I wouldn't count on it. It could also be that this is completely beyond me and I'm not in control of when I can return, which would completely suck. But I've got no doubt in my mind. After all, the forest has had plenty of time to develop mysteries of its own. There is where I'll find my answer. An answer to what? What are you- Sorry for sneaking up. I should not have done that. Um, anyway, Desi wants us at Village Central. He went to your house, but you are not there, so... Fine. Thank you for allowing me to interrupt your day, everyone. We just finished, so no need to worry, Desi. Right, well... This is something that I've been contemplating bringing to your attention. We just got here a week ago. Yes, you did, but that does not make it any less important. I am going to have to ask you all to keep an open mind. Are you waiting for us to actually open our minds? What is it? Yes, of course. No, not a confirmation to your question, Amy. I'm going to ask if you would mind assisting me in... Converting the village to a town. You are not actually thinking of converting this place, Kate. Yes. Yes, I have been thinking about this since before you arrived. Well, I say go for it, Desi. I mean, hear me out. Villages are... Well, you know how they are. They are bent on tradition and relying on themselves. 
it is a disgrace to accept outsiders and their help, let alone ask for it. But here, this place is different. It always has been, and not just because of that board. Have to agree, Miss Blythe. Yes, dear, I, I will agree with you. As travelers, villages are reluctant to allowing us to stay, even to rest. I'm not one to judge this quickly, but I believe this place deserves to be called more than just a village. Oh, Blythe, you know what the others will think. Chester, you were raised in a village and have traditional ways embedded onto your soul. But that does not mean you cannot be supportive to this great opportunity for Desmond. But you do know that this opportunity could result in disaster. Crossing out the fact that this could attach this place even more would be juvenile and idealistic. But Amy, have a bit of confidence in Desi. And see him off to the Ender Dragon. Absolutely not. This is absurd. Not completely, dear. It cannot fail by itself. We are the ones to make it fail, and we must prevent that. I am not asking you to agree with me. And I thank you for your concern, Amy. You as well, Mr. Chester. This is a choice that I will need help in, as I have no construction skills of my own, nor a decorative nature, but I do have a goal that I will accomplish. That is certain. Well, if it's what you want, I can't stop you. Great, Mr. Chester! Yes, marvelous, dear. Once this place topples, we leave. Do not think like that, Amy. I'm being realistic. What do you think, Angie? What kind of assisting do you want? Well, it is not an easy task, and it will take a lot of preparation. We'll be rebuilding this place entirely to fit the new needs of a town. But for that, we'll need supplies. So, we need money. No, no, we do not need money for any of this. We are in the middle of nowhere and we will need to do this on our own. Of course, we will be needing more stone and brick for this project than we have before. So, the truth will not suffice. People with mining skills, as well as construction, decorating, and presentation skills are also needed. The layout and supply list have been prepared and revisions of this layout would be needed. Which is a part of the reason why I'm about to ask if you would. Set aside some time and help you out? Yes. You do not have to do this by yourself, you know. I'm sure Desi would let us help out too, right everyone? Of course, of course. We will need all the help available and more. Miss Evangeline, will you do that for me? The revisions- I haven't given my answer yet. Don't act like I've said yes. But you are going to help out, are you not, dear? No. No, I won't be helping. And don't ask me why. You should know that. I can tell from the way you ask, Desmond. Don't bother me. Learn to give people space, will you?